Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Um, back for part two of three today. Um, and this is one of those one-off album reviews. Now, a few weeks ago, um, someone well, someone did ask me to do the Straubs. And the album I, I didn't actually include in that ranking was this one. And I said that I'd do it separate because I think it, it sort of is a little bit separate. So it's an album that Sandy Denny and the Straubs did. And it's called All Our Own Work. As we said, the Straubs were formed in 1964 by Dave Cuttons and Sandy Denny who would be saw singing in a nightclub. So the man, they did all these recordings before that first Straubs album come out. So um, it's a great little album so I thought we'd uh, have a look at it. I mean they started out as a bluegrass band and then Sandy went on to do um, their point convention so uh, this is the album they re recorded and it was the first singing album to Herb Albert's A&M Records so on here we've got Sandy Denny doing lead vocals backing vocals and acoustic guitar Dave Cousins his lead vocals, backing vocals, acoustic guitar and banjo. Tony Hooper, again, lead vocals, backing vocals, acoustic guitar. Ron Chesterman on the double bass. Ken Goodman on drums. Cy Nicola on the sitar. And it was recorded in Denmark. Funny place to record it, but there you go. And Gustav Winkler was the producer. First track on here is called on my way great track I love Sandy Sandy's vocals she's in the same vein as Judith Durham uh, it's a really really good track good start to the album and then we get a little track called who knows where time goes love the acoustic guitar work on here I don't know if it's Sandy or Dave playing but it is really really good it's a lovely vocal. Uh, then tell me what you see in me. Um, my favourite track on the album, although it's not Sandy uh, doing the full vocals. It's it's a great vocals between Dave and Sandy doing the backing. It's just amazing. They really complemented each other. Um, Always on my mind, which is a Tony Hooper, nothing to do with the one Elvis. And Tony sings it. It's only a little short track. But it's nice, very nice. Stay a while with me. Another great song. Acoustic guitars on this are wonderful. Nice harmonies, great vocals. What more do you need? Then we get Wild Strawberries. We've got banjo on here. Proper sitting on the on the front and your dungarees drinking moon, moonshine yeeha music. Quite a nice little track. Then we get a track called All I Need Is You, a typical 60s folk rock song, fantastic vocal again, can't knock it. Um, everybody but Sam with a hit a crit. One of my favourite tracks on here. I uh, love the vocal from Dave Cousins, typical Dave Cousins singing, full of tongue and cheek, it's a wonderful song. Um, Sail Away to the Sea. Again, fabulous singing, fabulous guitar playing. Sweetling, this is another Tony Hooper song. Uh, very nice track. Great vocal. It was a very good vocalist, Tony Hooper. Um, that's one thing you can say about the Straubs in general, as I said, mentioned before. Then you've got three, three or four good singers. The harmonies are always going to sound great. Um, nothing else will do. catchy tune typical sort of folky rock stuff really nice then we get and you need me this has got some of the nicest guitar work on this album so echoey and the quirky vocal from sandy on this is fantastic love her vocals 
and that was the last track. Now, I think this is a fantastic album. It's a pity this they never recorded any more as this part of the band. Um, I mean, Sandy, of course, brilliant in Fairport Convention. Yes, we are going to be doing Fairport Convention at some stage, I'm sure. And then the rest of the Straubs is history. Um, sadly, Sandy's no longer with us, but I would say this is certainly one of them Sunday morning albums. You get a, a coffee, read the paper, want a bit of music in the background. This is the ideal album. Why don't you just want a gentle album on when you're doing something you just want to relax? Some lovely songs on this. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.8. .8. Okay. That sort of rounded up the straws. I'm sure we'll do live album ranking at some time, but uh, got lots of plan for that one anyway. Um, I'll be back later because we've got a third one today. And um, this is an album that actually came out last year, I think October. The new album from the Smashing Pumpkins. Now they've, it's a rock opera split into three acts. Next week, Act Two comes out, so I thought I would. Hold on and not do Act 1 until nearer the time. Now, Act 3 comes out in April. And and the, and it will be part of the album review of 2023. Because I, I don't want to judge it just on the one album. I thought I wanted to judge it as the whole thing. So we'll be having a look at Act 1 of Autumn by the Smashing Pumpkins. So bye for now. And I will see you for that very shortly. <laughs>